This year's competition included some very auspicious books. One, what has government done to our money? The case for the 100% gold dollar by this really obscure guy named Professor Murray Rothbard. Thank you very much, Steve. And it's been it's revised. It's helped to revise our whole viewpoint. Uh, some other books. Uh, I must speak out. The best of the voluntarists from 1982 to 1999 by Carl Wadner. An amazing, amazing book. Please get it. Awesome. These were all in competition for the vote for the book of the year for this past year. Uh, the Market for Liberty by the Tannehills. Everybody knows that. Great book. Jane Neal Shulman, science fiction classic, Alongside Night was one of them. Against Intellectual Monopoly, for those of us who have a problem with the government enforcing some sort of right to allow people to put things out but forcing everybody else not to put anything out similar, you can't copy it, all oh, this would be terrible. Uh, Against Intellectual Monopoly by David Levine and Michelle Waldron was there. Um, also, a very, very great piece of fiction from a friend of ours who can't be here. He's in Northern Ireland, and I will see him next week. Wayne Simmons, the book Drop Dead Gorgeous, an apocalyptic zombie novel set in Northern Ireland. <laughs> That's what libertarians get you. Uh, Songs of Freedom, Tales of the Revolution by uh, Daryl Perry and et al. and Tom Woods. Uh, in the Fed by another guy you might have heard of, Ron Paul. <laughs> Enemy the State by Albert J. Nock. I was just talking about that book, and I, I remember the first time I read Our Enemy the State by Nock, I thought, man, this guy's really angry. <laughs> I think a lot of Americans are becoming that angry now. Yeah. Now, if we could translate it in a positive thought, as you all do, we're, we're on our way. And Afila, The Life and Times of an African music, Musical Icon uh, by Michael E. Beale. So those were the nominees. And just to let you know that 100% of the proceeds for the affiliate sales, because they're tied into Amazon, they get a portion of those sales, FERB donates 100% of the proceeds to the Liberty Scholarship Fund for people to be able to get out of the government school system. So every time you go to a book club, and you buy a book through Freedom Book Club, the book of the month that's been suggested, you're helping the author and you're helping kids. Yeah. Awesome. And you're helping break down the state, for shatter the, the state. Yeah, for the children. <laughs> this year's award goes to, of all the books, goes to the one that I have not mentioned. <laughs> Completely. This award goes to a book that is almost 500 years old. It is a 40-page pamphlet written by a man who unfortunately can't be here with us. <laughs> but maybe he's here. Maybe he's here in spirit. Yeah. On his behalf, here's, here's the mighty Zarquan uh, for a Hitchhiker's Guide fans. The book is called The Politics of Obedience. The Discourse of Voluntary Servitude, uh, you might have heard of this, it is by Etienne de la Boite, Frenchman who in 1550 wrote this treatise. It is a 40 page piece written while he was a law student at the University of Orleans. And I will give you a quote from the book, quote, Resolve to serve no more, and you are at once freed. I do not ask that you place hands upon the tyrant to topple him over, but simply that you support him no longer. Then you will behold him like a giant colossus whose pedestal has been pulled away. Behold him fall of his own weight and break in pieces. Do not support the state. That is the key. So, in honor of Etienne de la Boite, we say thank you to him, thank you to Jeremy Furbish of the Freedom Book Club, and I now get the honor to present 
Two, a very fine man, you might know him as Don Quixote, uh, Russell Canning gets a $500 check to go to the Liberty Scholarship Fund. Congratulations, and this is going to honor of the great Frenchman who helped set so many people on the path. People like Murray Rothbard and Ayn Rand, and Russell Canning falls in his footsteps. Thank you, Russell. And thank you, everybody. Listen, we, uh, uh, they give out uh, scholarships once a year. We did give out one uh, emergency one partway through this year. Uh, they give out uh, $500 scholarships, so this will free possibly one kid from the public school system. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, just to say.